someone did this tutorial, uh, Flash CS5 Tutorial 39 Jigsaw Puzzle Completed, and what they wanted was when I drag a piece in, besides the piece locking in place, they wanted to say cracked or Yahoo or something. So we're going to give that a shot. I'm going to start by making a new movie clip. Click on the library down here. New symbol. Uh, call it correct. C-O-R-R-E-C-T underscore M-C. And there's that movie clip. Correct. And on the second frame here insert a blank keyframe or keyframe it doesn't matter call this sound s o u n d now you could either import here import uh to the stage or to the library uh a video or to the to whatever, whatever you want to import your sound um but I prefer for this to use the, the sounds that are available. If you go under a window, common libraries, and there's a bunch of sounds here. And I'm going to pick one where people are saying hooray or something like that. And down here, I got something called humans hooray. If I click on it, I can see that there. And if I press here. Hooray! So make sure you have a layer and a frame selected. Click and just drag that on to the stage. I can close this off now. And if I look closely, I see a little line, blue line in there. That means that there's sound on that frame. I'm going to go up to about 35 frames. Insert a keyframe. I want to go a little bit further. Click on it. Drag it up a little more. Drag it up until I see there's the end of it. And if I just select frame one, hit enter. Hooray! Lock that layer. Insert layer. Call it action script AS. Select frame one. Open the actions panel. S T O P. Open close bracket semicolon. Go back to scene one in the main timeline and open the actions panel so i'm going to write the code for that uh, movie clip and i'm going to write it on piece two so coming down piece two piece two here's piece two and this is where the target of piece two hits its target right here and I'm putting it after the x coordinate here put an enter in and Type, type, type this code. Correct underscore MC. That's that movie clip I just made. Period. Go to and play. Open bracket to close bracket semicolon. So when the target for piece two is in place, it'll lock it in. It'll add to the count. And it should go hooray. Control test movie test. And I forgot to give it a movie clip instance name so select the border layer insert a layer call it correct c o r r e c t select frame one open the library grab that correct movie clip and drag it on the stage and that circle tells me the movie clip is on the stage now open the properties panel make sure you have it selected open the properties panel there it is correct movie clip instance name c o r r e c t shift underscore m c let's test this control test movie test no errors there's piece one locks in piece two Now, what you're hearing is it's because this statement is true, this is happening over and over and over and over and over again, and we don't want that. We only want it to happen once. To do that, we need to make a variable. 
So go back to the top of the page. After this count for piece count for piece four, put a couple enters and type 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 type. We're going to make a variable. It's going to be count C N T H P two colon number equals zero semicolon. And I just put the H in here for hit of piece two. That's all right. And now we're going to check that and use that so that we don't do this over and over again. Let's go back down here where we had that. I'm just going to put two forward slashes in here. Oops, whoops. Put two forward slashes. I don't need that. And right after this P2 where it gets its count, put a couple enters and type this code. Type, 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 type. If open bracket CNT HP2 equals equals zero, close bracket. That's that variable we just made up here where it's a zero. Down here we're testing it for zero. And if it's zero, we're going to say correct underscore. You could copy that here and paste it in. Correct underscore MC period. Go to and play open bracket two close bracket semicolon. And at the same time, this con this variable CNT HP two equals one semicolon. And there's a closed curly bracket for the open curly bracket here on this if. That way there it'll only happen once. Control test movie test. And when I bring it in, that's it. Now, the also the request was to, um, if you put it in the wrong place, um, I'm not going to do that. It's, you would have to make each piece have the exact same targets. Um, if you look at for a movie clip, for example, piece one, somewhere there's a target. If I hide this, select that frame, that's a target. If I open it up, see it's a movie clip, it's a target. And in order for this to be, to do what this person wanted, you'd have to have that target in the exact spot for each piece and for each piece you'd have to have a if statement like sort of like this to say if it hit any other piece and you'd have to say for the for this one, you you need a piece one a piece three a piece four so it's really a lot lot to do um if you if you really want it let me know and i'll and i'll do something for you but uh, i'll leave that to you Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.